Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hey, good morning. Hope you all are doing well. You might be thinking, I thought this was Holy Cross. What is this guy doing? I know him. That's the vicar over at St. Paul. And look, he's putting his uh, he's putting his logo on our Holy Cross website. What's going on? Well, that's okay. We're partners in the gospel, as Paul says in uh, Philippians chapter 1. Uh, we all um, confess the same faith and believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. Well, these are crazy times. Uh, they are so crazy times. Uh, I just watched a uh, uh, a prayer and a um, a giving um, uh, an announcement of the lawyer of uh, um, of George Floyd and his family, and uh, calling for racial justice. And and I'm not here to talk about um, politics. We all um, we try to each try to faithfully um, follow our conscience and do what's right with politics. But I do want to say the thing that he kept saying, which I think is helpful for us, is talking about his humanity. George Floyd was a human, and um, and that's pretty amazing. So I want to talk about that today, um, the gift of being a human, and also just the uh, how humble God is, and that that he himself also became a human. So. Um, I want to look at um, one verse from uh, something that some of us in our churches will confess this week, which is the Athanasian Creed, which is really long, really amazing and beautiful, but really long, which is why we usually only, usually only confess it about once a year. So I'm going to look here um, at, uh, just kind of picking up, this is just the translation um, by Dr. Kolb and another Dr. Wanger. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. But anyway, this is just the translation um, of the Athanasian Creed. And I want to pick up here, it's in the right column here, talking about Jesus, the number 30 here. He's perfect God and a perfect human being, composed of a rational soul and human flesh. He's equal to the Father with respect to his divinity, less than the Father with respect to his humanity. Although he is God and a human being, nevertheless, he is not two, but one Christ. And here's n number 33 is what I, I want to um, want you to ponder and uh, all of it, all of the Athanasian Creed is worthy of pondering. But number 33 is, to me, just, just blows me away. It says, however, Jesus is not, Jesus is one, not by the changing of the divinity in the flesh, but by the taking up of the humanity in God. In other words, um, Jesus just didn't come into humanity. He actually took humanity into God. Uh, into his godness. So that's, that's the amazing thing. And when we think about this, well, what does that mean? Um, it means a lot of things. It means that um, when Jesus died, that, our, that, he, that the death due all of humanity uh, died with him. Um, the, the curse of sin died with him. Um, but it also means that um, he's redeemed humanity. In other words, like he wants to piece it back together. He loves it so much. Uh, all of humanity. And so one thing we can look at um, from that is uh, the way we should, we should conduct ourselves as Christians and as citizens in America. So Philippians 2 is a passage that uh, often people go to, and so that's what's on the left-hand side of your screen. It says, Have this mind in yourself, uh, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, and by the way, here he's, you see most scholars think he's singing or quoting uh, an, an old, uh, an original hymn, uh, singing um, praise to, to our Lord Jesus um, and uh, how he humbled himself. So have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not, gra did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form. And he says it again, he what? He humbled himself. How? By becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that's above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. So that's, uh, you know, there's so much to ponder there. I guess the thing I want you to think about is uh, the aspect that Jesus redeemed humanity by taking humanity into himself, and that uh, Jesus was humble. Uh, all the way, his whole life, and uh, he spoke truth, no doubt. He angered people, for sure. Uh, he engaged in politics because politics and religion overlaps and ethics, um, but he was here to obey his father, and, and he was humble all the way, all the way to death. 
and uh, he is our Lord. Uh, someday, every single person will bend the knee. Um, it's been amazing looking at stories of, of policemen and citizens, protesters, um, bending the knee, saying, let's listen to one another. Let's reconcile. And, um, and ultimately, every person will bend the knee before Jesus Christ. So um, that, those are some random thoughts from uh, the vicar down the road and uh, St. Paul Lutheran Church. Uh, tell me your thoughts, um, and uh, hope you all are doing well. God bless. Take, talk to you soon.